hi there welcome back to my channel so in this video i'll be taking you through bounded sets what are bounded sets in our previous lessons you've gone through the boson or western theorem you've gone through the others please if this is the first time you've been on this channel kindly subscribe to support and please don't forget to like subscribe and you share this video if found helpful right so an abundant set the word bounded here means that something which has boundaries right so boundaries boundaries so you realize that if you have a given set of numbers and you can create boundaries around it then it's a bounded set if i give you a set as one two three four five right this set here i can say that the set is bounded between zero and ten because this set does not exceed zero, does not exceed 10, right? And when you talk about bounded sets, somebody can also say that this set here is also bounded by hot negative one and hot 100. Yes, it's true. For that reason, on a bounded set, we have something we call the least upper bound. And we have what we call the greatest lower bound, right? Greatest lower bound. So, in order for us to get a defined boundary, we use the least upper bound and we have the greatest lower bound. So the least upper bound is the least highest number. The function or the set of numbers here will never exceed. So in our case, we can say that it's six, right? It's six. Somebody, yes, so the six, because it's integers, you just say six, right? And on the left side, you say zero. So meaning, the least bounded, um, least upper bound is six, and the greatest lower bound is all zero. Yes, so that's boundaries. It's like if we're able to create boundaries, if we're able to select a number so that our set does not exceed, then you see that set is bounded. So let's see the set zero comma one. So this is an interval, a closed interval with zero less than or equal to one, equal to x less than or equal to one right so whenever you have this set here you ask yourself is this set bounded yeah it's bounded because if you have a set of numbers from zero to one it's infinite but you realize that we can select a number like negative one you can select a number like two negative one and two become boundaries of this set because this set will never exceed negative one on the left side neither will it exceed two on the right side so this is the concept of what bounded sets and as I said, we have least upper bound, we have greatest lower bound, okay? So, least upper bound will be the greatest number our sets will never exceed on the right side. Once the greatest lower bound becomes the highest number, our sets will not exceed on the left side. So, that's all I have for you in this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.